guys, it's Faze Rug, and today I'm gonna be answering the web's most asked questions. Let's get it. Why is Faze Rug famous? Why is Faze Rug famous? Hmm, there's many answers to that question. My fame started through gaming. I joined the world's biggest gaming clan back in 2012. That immediately put my name on the radar and from there I started expanding my content like doing a cocaine prank on my mom that reached worldwide. So that video right there definitely helped my career big time and from there I kept grinding, making a name for myself and putting my family in my videos because I'm a very family oriented man so I just wanted to show people the real side of my life. Why is FaZe Rug rich? Well my top priority was just being an influencer and sending a positive message in the world and influencing the youth and even adults so that was my main priority. I truly never even expected to make money because I never really thought of it as a job but as the years kept going on YouTube started monetizing more and you could just start making more and more money and I personally choose to spread that wealth and share it with you know family fans and people around the world. Once I started making money from YouTube I just tried saving as much as I could. I'd give some money to my mom and dad and just invest in the right things. How tall is FaZe Rug? Uh, right now, about six, creeping up on seven now. Okay, okay. Yeah. What does FaZe Rug do besides filming? I love to play basketball. I have a basketball court in my backyard, so every time I'm done filming, I like to put up some shots. It's my mental escape, along with, who would have ever guessed, gaming. I love to game. I don't post that often on gaming, but I literally love gaming. It's in my blood since I was a kid. That's what made my career take off. So those are my roots and I'll always stick to them. But I really love gaming and basketball. What's FaZe Rug's most prized possession? Ooh, my most prized possession is my YouTube channel. I treat it like a baby. Stop I take the care cap. of it. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Are you serious, bro? Are you serious right now, bro? <laughs> you know, speed. I honestly think of it like a baby. Like, you gotta feed it, aka upload. You gotta look after it. You gotta, like, watch how your videos are doing, how people are liking them, and you're watching it grow. Like a little baby growing into an adult. All right, we're getting a little more serious here. Oh, no. Does FaZe Rug have his family on payroll? Oh, that's a good question. A lot of people have actually asked me that. I don't have them on a specific payroll, but anytime my family takes time out of their day to come help me with a YouTube video, I honestly just love to pay them, not in a specific amount, but however many hours they were at my house, you know, however much I felt like, oh damn, they took the time out of their day to do this, so here's this much money. But it's not like a specific payroll, we always love to have fun, but if anyone's taking the time out of their day to help me, whether they love doing it and they're having fun, I just feel like they need to get paid for it. The only time I don't pay them, all right, this is serious, is when it's a $10,000 challenge. Because they're coming to make some money and we gotta take it as serious as possible. Are FaZe Rug's $10,000 challenges real or fake? It's a great question. Yes, they are real. answer that. I can answer that. Yes, yes they are real. I like to reinvest in my content, so your guys' support helps with that. If it wasn't for your guys' support and watching my YouTube videos, I feel like I wouldn't be able to make these $10,000 challenges or just giving back in general because everyone who watches my video contributes to that, so I can't thank you guys enough, but yes, they are real. Hey, but if you guys don't believe me, you can try to find one of my videos where I give $10,000 to someone. It could be a teacher, it could be an employee, it could be anyone that I've done it to, and I'm sure they'll tell you the answer. What would FaZe Rug be doing if he wasn't famous? Oh, I love this question. So I think I would definitely be in school. I started community college when I was first taking off on YouTube. So I was already gonna go down that path. So I would definitely be in college and probably just work a job. I don't know exactly where, but I feel like if I did have a job, it would be like a Best Buy employee. I don't know why, I like the atmosphere. Does FaZe Rug have a chef? maid, chauffeur, etc. No, I don't have any of that stuff. I, I honestly just do things on my own and you know, I feel like I'm a regular person at the end of the day. Like I always tell people that whenever they meet me in public, they're like freaking out and stuff. And I'm just like, dude, I feel like we're like just the same person, but it's really cool though. It's funny cause you guys freak out when you meet me, but in my mind, I'm also freaking out. Cause I'm like, wait, this is super dope. Like people want to come up to me and take a picture. So I'm always freaking out. That's why I always try to like converse with all my fans and like, just make them feel like it's a regular person they're talking to. I don't really consider like a maid or a chauffeur anything like that. 
because I don't want it to ever like get in my head that I'm like, oh, I need this. Like, no, I want to depend on myself, but maybe when I'm retired in the future, I could start, you know, looking into a maid or like a chauffeur because I think that would be cool when I'm retired. What's the most expensive thing FaZe Rug owns besides his house? Most expensive thing I own besides my house? My Lamborghini Huracan. Yes, that is a, a beautiful car. It's my baby. I honestly don't drive that car at all. I honestly see that car as like a trophy car. Like I keep it in my garage and like I just look at it and say, damn, like I really got a Lamborghini. That was a dream of mine since I was a kid. So I don't really drive it that much because I don't want to like put miles on it. I don't want to scratch it because I suck at freaking the low car stuff and trying to go up a curb. Like I do have skid plates though, so. What the hell are skid plates? It's uh, underneath. It's underneath, so if you scratch it, it's oh. not scratching the actual car. Who does FaZe Rug have beef with? Dude, should I get my list right now? <laughs> oh my god, bro. There is guys, like sometimes it's hard for me to remember who I have beef with because it's so many. Bro. Tanner Fox, bro. Jake Paul, Jake Paul, Logan, Logan Paul, Paul, KSI, bro. Mayweather like, just recently. Mayweather. Mike Tyson, remember what you said about the list? Bro, oh yeah. my god. I, You're I went in the crazy. Heat. The yeah. Petco employee. <laughs> There's a Petco like, employee, bro. Him and I, we just. The Starbucks guy can keep asking for extra caramel. <laughs> the Subway employee, because you said the turkey or bro, the foot long is actually. If you want to keep going, this video is going to be like yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll 45 just say minutes. Too much to. Too much. Okay. How deep in inches is FaZe Rug's nose? <laughs> <laughs> you know who people say I look like? Oh. <laughs> Quandango! Yo, bro. that's all. Wait, turn it aside. It's Quandale Dingle. Wait, turn it aside. Hey guys, Quandale Dingle. Oh, you really like Quandale? <laughs> bro, I I don't know. I just recently started reading the comments on my videos even more, and like a lot of people have been commenting that. And there's actually a specific screenshot that started it. Hold up. Dewey. Quandale be going crazy. I started getting called that name after this screenshot resurfaced the internet. Are Phase Rugs haunted videos fake? Oh, yeah, so fake. One, man. Oh, no, no, no. This bro, is you're... literally, I've seen this so many times. Bro, it's so fake. Like, I, like, no. bro, like, we fake them, like, heavily. <laughs> I, I wish we faked them. Nah, nah. That way I could sleep at night. It's funny, because, like, I always tell people, those are, like, the most commonly asked questions. Bro, people ask me that, and I'm like, bro, like, please, I wish there was something I could do. I have a good idea. Why don't we take two fans next time? Oh, like, my legit? God. Let's legit? Take, just... No, let's take some people that would do it. There's no way they would lie. Gideon. Gideon would never lie. I know. No, he I'm saying you, he would tell them the truth, the cold heart truth. I want to take Gideon on a haunted adventure because yes. I think that would be fun. And I don't think, I think he told me once that like he doesn't get scared or he doesn't believe oh, in that stuff. Oh, so, take it, bro. When I tell you, oh. hey, the Whaley House was, bro, the Whaley House was so like in your face type stuff. Dude, yeah, it's funny though because like I do see those comments a lot, but. I don't blame people for thinking it because there's a lot of people that just don't believe in ghosts So of course when they see a video like that, they're like this is no. what I always say I don't blame the people that call them fake because unless you've had a ghost encounter Exactly. You won't believe it. Exactly. Yeah. If I never had a ghost encounter, I wouldn't believe it I'll Same here. stuff on, Google, on YouTube and Google. I'll be like, that's not real. Same here. I think um, You have to see it or it has to happen to you for you to watch those videos and believe what's happening in them Also, once I met Sam and Colby literally top ghost hunters of YouTube like it's just, it's, it's, it's unreal. Like it just, you would think that they're fake, but none of that is fake and it's crazy. What is FaZe Rug's biggest regret? Biggest regret. I just, it doesn't have to, <laughs> what is my hair? No, it's just this question just took such a toll on you. I'm like, <laughs> you're like, oh, it's cause I'm actually trying to get into my deep thoughts. Like I want to think of, Hey, like what did I regret? You know what I mean? Did like you ever regret anything? Like my biggest regret would probably be when I sold my first home that I bought on my own. It was my first ever house. I regret that because I sold it after living in there for six to seven months. And I just felt very unhappy at that moment. And I just wasn't used to living by myself. You know, like it was a very big step out of my comfort zone. It was a giant house and it was literally just me living there. So it really got lonely, it got scary. A lot of people wouldn't want to come over because it was too far. So I'm like, okay, like I feel very lonely. So I ended up selling it, moving back to my parents' house. But then when you do something that big, 
you obviously start having second thoughts about it. So after I sold it and moved back in with my parents, I'm like, oh my gosh, what did I do? I didn't even give it enough time for me to love. I didn't try to like the house. I just immediately was wanting to get out of there. And it was too late for me to ever go back and like ask for the house back. So I have to accept that. But I talked myself out of that mindset. That was a long time ago. Right now I have such like a fresh and clear mindset that I believe obviously everything happens for a reason. And I didn't believe that back then. I'm honestly just happy to be around my friends and family this beautiful house popped up on the market and things ended up working out 10 times better than they were so I'm very grateful for that and if you're going through a slump right now and you think you regret something I promise you I promise you bigger things are on the way it's hard to believe but just trust me on this has FaZe Rug ever been arrested <laughs> These are literally what I saw on Google. That's crazy. Uh, I mean, it's a good question. Like, people want to know. Wait, you've never been arrested, right? No, no. Okay, I was yeah, because you were like. I mean, I was gonna say answer. like when you play hide and seek with cops. No, no. Like, like you, yes, you, I've been you've arrested. Never been arrested. No, I've never been. Ar I've been no, pulled over cops. for speeding, but oh. that, that's yeah, not that arrested. When you first started Bro, phase rug in a jail cell. <laughs> like, what? No, like, cheeks would have been shredded. <laughs> Bro, smithereens, like, the blooms to those guys in jail. Bro, no, honestly, like, I've, I've never been arrested, never want to. I feel like they put you in jail, bro. I feel like they heavily, like... they like, gotta watch YouTube. Like, they, imagine you got fans in prison, that would be crazy. They for sure watch my videos. Imagine, that would be so wow, sick. they can't wait for you to get in prison. Fresh meat. Fresh <laughs> buns right there. Okay, sorry. Is FaZe Rug a nice guy? If I meet you in person, like, are you gonna tell me to get the fuck out of your face? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like it's just weird answering that question for myself. I would just honestly let everyone else around be the judge of that. You know what I mean? Like everyone that I've met in public, cause I feel like that number is high now. I've, I've been meeting yeah. fans for the past like seven, eight years of my life. You um, gotta be like one of the meanest people I've ever seen. I know, really. I hate it. I hate it, dude. I'm trying to get over that as well, bro. Now, nah, but uh, I would hope people think I'm a nice guy because- Probably one of the chillest people I've ever met in my whole life. I like to- I just like to show people that there's people with a following that are normal. You know what I mean? I, I do get a lot like I do get a lot of comments in person saying like, bro, like you're you're even chill in person. And I'm like, yeah, dude, of course. Yeah. Like I'm just that's how I am. I've collabed with a lot of big YouTubers and a normal comment that I get from them is always like Hey bro, like you're actually really, really nice, and I'm like, dude, thank you. Like I don't know, that's just how I portray I've myself. Heard YouTubers say that you are the nicest person they've ever met. I, yeah, I like, I mean, I don't like taking you know credit. Who said that? No, yeah. There's two people that said that. Yeah, no, no, I mean, like, I just feel like I can't answer that. I'm just gonna let people be the judge of it. Whoever's met me, if you could see it through my videos, I freaking love you. Like, I just try to show how kind I am and, you know, the type of person I am through my content. And yeah, I love you guys. Where did FaZe Rug get his name? So, a lot of people think my name is FaZe. Uh, a lot of people ask where I got Rug from. So, the FaZe part comes from the team that I'm in. And then the Rug came from Rugrats because I was a huge Rugrats fan growing up. And when I first made a YouTube channel, me and my best friend, Cheyenne, were trying to think- Hey, Cheyenne! Cheyenne! Bro, with him. Dude's probably a doctor right now. Like an oh, open so heart smart. surgeon. He was so bro, smart. homie was getting like a 4.8 in middle school, bro. bro. Like he was in like AP classes in middle school. I don't even know how that's possible. I don't even think I was in regular class. But yeah, his parents hated me because I would always come over with like the PlayStation to play zombies. Oh, yeah. oh, I would always go to his house and they're like, but like they were kid. so against video games and like we had to like stop playing games at like 10 p.m. But yeah, anyways, we were we were just in the kitchen and we were just trying to think of like cool names and we started looking at other people's names and we noticed like they're named after like brands, like you know what I mean? Yeah, like uh, glue. I know there's like yeah, glue, like, like some stupid stuff like Apple. Yeah, like dice. Yeah, dice. Like definitely. there were just names like that and I'm like, okay. Stokes. Scopes, Snipes, yeah. Like, so I was just thinking like, what's my favorite thing like ever? And it was the Rugrats and I'm like, oh, that's sick. That's actually fire. Yeah, it's such a cool story. But yeah, I was Rugrats and then you know what Cheyenne chose? What was it? Pringle. <laughs> <laughs> what if in that moment, Cheyenne was like, oh, I want to be Rugrat. And I'm like, all right, fine, I'll be Pringle. I would have been FaZe Pringle right now. You wouldn't be FaZe nothing. I know. They would have picked you up with Pringle. <laughs> so after Rugrat, I started my gaming team, my gaming venture, 
got big through gaming and then as I joined FaZe, I shortened the name from Rugrat to Rug because they were worried for copyright issues in the future. I guess they saw the potential in me. Uh, but yeah, so we just shortened it to Rug and from there, just went crazy. Is FaZe Rug left-handed? Yes, I am. Aren't you ambidextrous? Yes, so I'm left-handed when it comes to riding, but when it comes to playing sports, eating, all that other stuff, it's my right hand. So I am ambidextrous. That's so weird. It is it is weird because I can't write. write no, 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 no. I can't write with my right hand for the life of me. I what? tried. But you know what's also crazy? I can't throw or eat with my left hand because it's just weird. But my writing hand... That is so weird. Yeah. Hey, if anyone else is ambidextrous out there, like, I freaking love you. I want to see how many people there are. So like this video. All right, bro. My time here is up. Thank you so much for having me. Hope you learned a little bit about phase. Why are you playing outro video, music, but, bro? Right now. Why are you I playing really outro go. music? Hey, I'll play it in the so editing, Make sure you bro. like and subscribe. Peace out. <laughs> bro, what are you doing? I'm playing outro music.